Good morning. So this is a recipe from a well, part of my carbonara king. I'm just gonna try and replicate it. I haven't had proper carbonara before. So we'll give it a go. Okay, you want to get the ratios right. Approximately, you want three to four egg yolks per person approximately based on size, bigger they are, the less you need. The cheese is Garana Padano is three to two Pecorino Romano. And 200 grams of pasta. One chale, 100 grams per person, maybe less, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I used about 10 eggs, even though I said three eggs per person approximately for the size. According to my research, the chef, he puts in Garana Padano, this cheese. So I think normally you're supposed to just use Pecorino Romano, but it can be a bit harsh. It's hard, easier to screw up if you do have just that. Yeah, that looks about right. If you can roughly gauge that. Uh, it's two of this and three of this, so if you're wondering what it smells like, it probably smells like your dad's feet. It actually tastes pretty good on its own, to be honest. It's not too harsh. You know how you get that sh harsh flavor from like cheese that tastes like foot? The amount of water. You might think you want to fill it up all the way to the top for any sort of pot so that it can dance around per se, but actually you don't you want to increase the starch concentration so you can make it extra thick and slurry. And with the salt, just pre-salt it, but under season, cause the cheese and the pork, it's gonna be pretty salty as it is. For this, I just went with like a, one big pinch instead of like four. Now let this boil, we're gonna cut up the guanciale. See here, that's all the fat. You might think it's a lot. You actually would want that. You wanna keep it. The skin, get rid of. It's too tough. The peppery layer, well, actually, you might want to keep. Uh, according to the recipe I'm following, the idea is you want to take it off because pepper can get bitter when you you know cook it the way you will. So yeah, about this much, I would say. I could possibly be wrong, and I might have to cut more. You look at it, all that fat. You're gonna keep that for later. It's gonna be really handy. You get quite a bit of waste, as you can see. You know, probably next time, if we're gonna make this, it's probably like, just best to take off the skin. Everything else should be all right, I think. Just a side note, the pepper can be burnt if you're gonna cook it so it's, you know, crispy on the outside and when it's burnt, you know, it can be bitter. In theory, the recipe kind of wants you to render all the fat, make it all deep fried in its own fat so it's crunchy on the outside and inside it's still, well, tender, it's not too hard. What I did here, I grabbed my yolks and I mixed, for the most part, most of the cheese together with it so that I can make some sort of thick paste that I would put over a boiling pot later. So with that cheese and egg yolk mixture, you want to pour some of that hot pasta water in. Make sure it should be nice and starchy if you use less water. And once it's a slurry, it should look like this. Eventually you add the pork fat into it. So it's sort of like a hollandaise sauce almost. As silly as it looks, this is probably the last way you want to do this. If you want to do a proper double boiler, make sure you get a small pot on the side, put your metal or ceramic bowl on it, you know, twitch your mixing, whatever mixture in, as opposed to what I'm doing. Keep whipping it, slowly add it, whip it, and slowly add the pork fat. Alright, so I'm just gonna like mix it all together. You wanna to emulsify with the pasta water and, and the pasta and all that. So you wanna make that sloshy noises you hear. I'm not very good at this, man. You make a lot of mess. Add your pork back in. And if you do this enough, it should become nice and thick. And you can make yourself lots of cleanup. Oh well, yeah, also like and subscribe and share and whatnot. I actually wanna pay my rent this week. Bruh. Ew. My impressions of it as to why I wanted to do it. It seems a little bit more harsh than I thought, maybe a little bit less cheese and a bit more reliant on the starchy pasta water, but for the most part, it actually was a pretty good success with the exception of how much wiping I had to do afterwards.